Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful twist stitch seed beads bracelet. It's easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. By the way, you could use not only seed beads for this work, but you could use, uh, when you follow the pattern, you could use any type of beads any size of beads, I mean. And uh, I could see this uh, pattern used in a lot of projects like necklaces or other type of earrings like this one here that I'm go gonna be showing you in one of my next videos. It's also easy to make. And you see when you change colors, how your work uh, changes almost beyond recognition. So, if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. And you will also find links for Amazon where you could buy supplies from. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads. Here I use a jump ring and lobster's claw clasp. And this is Nemo beading thread that is two millimeters thick, which is size D. And I'm using size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about 60 centimeters of thread or two feet of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have this thread on my needle and I'm going to start by picking up 12 beads six golden and six black beads okay and i'm going to alternate them okay and now i have six black and six goldens i have 12 beads in total okay and i'm going to slide those down i will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot okay and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and now I'm going to make one more loop and a knot okay I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and now this is what I have a circle of 12 beads okay then what I do is exit out of my next black bead and here I'm going to take two blacks and one golden bead okay this is what I have I'm sp skipping this golden here and going in the following black and I pull then I'm taking again two blacks and one golden and I'm skipping the golden and going in the black two blacks one golden skip the next golden go in the black then again two blacks and one golden skip the golden go in the black and i will do this two more times Okay, and pay attention here, I'm going through this black here. 
not don't go to the one above okay and now guys what I'm I, what I want to do is go in these two black beads and then also in the golden like this okay and now I'm going to add two golden beads and go in the following black okay in my next step I will go in this golden and I'm going to take two golden beads and go in this black one here and then in the following golden two goldens go in the black one like this and in the following golden and I'm going to take two golden beads like this and if you can in one movement go in the black and in the following golden and I will do this two more times okay and in my last step I want to exit out of this black one and here what I want to take are three black beads I go in my last golden and in the following black okay this is the same like I did in my previous row but in this time I'm doing it with black beads and with one bead more so I'm doing it with my color B okay and I take three and go in the golden and in the black then again three and go here three go here and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay and in my last step I'm going out of a golden bead and this time I'm going to take four goldens okay I have my four and I will go in my last black bead and in the following golden you see I'm alternating the colors and I increase the number of beads by one in each row okay so you could continue those rows even further okay four beads and I go here through the black and through the golden and then again four go in the last black and in the following golden And now I'm going to continue these three more times. Okay guys, and now I'm finishing this row. You could expand this model more and more if you want. And now I'm going around the edges here, reinforcing my work. Okay, I'm going through all of those beads around the edge to make it stay nice, firm and tight. Okay, and I'll do this off camera and I'll meet you here and tell you how to attach your clasp. 
Okay guys, and off camera I went around several times and now I'm going to show you how to attach your clasp. I have this clasp in this beautiful copper color to match my colors here of my, my seed beads. And now I'm going to take two black beads. I will take here my clasp, go through it and slide those down like this. You see where I'm exiting out of? I'm exiting out of this golden bead that is um, the second one counting from here. Okay. Then I'm taking two black beads and I'm going back through this bead here. And now what comes is reinforcement of my work. Okay, and I'm going around two or three times here. Okay, and when I reinforce it, it's time to make a knot and cut my thread, okay? And in order to do this, I'm going in my following seed bead here I'm going to make a loop like this and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I will go in my following seed bead and I'm going to cut my thread as close as possible to my work and off camera I also cut my tail thread okay now guys, I will make another element like this, but I won't cut my thread and I'll be back to tell you how to attach it to this one here. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and I did a second element the same way I showed you I'm doing this one, but I still haven't cut my thread and I will take one seed bead. You see I'm exiting out of this bead that's sticking out the most one bead away from this black one here and I will go with this bead in the same place but in my first element okay I'm going here and then I will take one more seed bead and I'm going here in this golden bead and I pull and then I will go around several times here as many times as you want and then after I'm ready I will go through some beads in this direction and here I'm going to make a loop like this go twice through the loop I've made pull then I'm going in my following seed bead and I'm going to cut my thread okay guys now I have this and in my next step I will connect my next element to this one the same way I show you and when I have seven or eight elements depending on your wrist you could choose the number of pieces you put I, I will put let's say seven I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I have now I added seven elements to my work this is the last seventh one and I just connected it here to my sixth one and now what I want to do is go through this element exit from this side and add this jump ring 
Okay, and in order to do this, I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. And I'm exiting out of this golden bead from this side. And what I want to take are four of these beautiful black beads. Okay, four of them. And then I'm taking my jump ring. And I will go back in circle through this golden bead. Now I have this and I'm going to reinforce this part. Okay, go several times around here. And now guys, as I'm exiting after this black bead here, I want to make a knot and cut my thread. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop. And I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I'm pulling okay and then I will go in one of my following seed beads and now I'm going to cut my thread and my bracelet will be ready guys and now my twist stitch seed beads bracelet is ready if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and uh, it's a good idea to do this because i show matching jewelries to the ones that i have already done and you could do so many different projects with one and the same element or pattern and make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and um, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful juries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in the description, you will find full list of materials, Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. From